What's up everybody, it's your boy Q Hicks here to give you another video on the rise of Grant Riller. If this is your first time on the channel, definitely hit that like and subscribe button. Now let's dive into it. Grant Riller is a 6'3 guard out of Orlando, Florida. In high school, Riller was a bucket in every sense of the word. Many other college scouts knew he was a high major scorer, but the one problem about Riller was his size. In high school, he was a 6'1 guard weighing about 160 pounds, and many college scouts were worried if he could withstand playing in a high major D1 program. In the summer of 2014, which was the summer before Riller's senior year, then Clemson assistant coach Earl Grant seen Riller play and knew he was a scorer, but not on the ACC level. Coach Grant sounded the alarm to many friends at mid-majors so he could get Riller on the map. A couple weeks later, Coach Grant got the College of Charleston job after being assistant to many prominent D1 coaches and started recruiting Riller for himself to come to Charleston. By the time Coach Grant got the job, Riller was down to two schools, FIU and Cleveland State. But after visiting Charleston, he knew that it was the perfect place for him. By his senior year in 2015, Riller was a two-star recruit. While playing for Okoe High School, he averaged 29 points in his senior year and set a new school single game scoring record after dropping 53 points. Once again, I will say, he was a bucket. Going into the College of Charleston, coaches didn't expect Riller's talent and scoring ability to translate to the college level with his size until a preseason scrimmage against Clemson changed their minds. Riller had 20 points in the game with some time left, but during the scrimmage he tore his ACL while trying to play defense. Obviously, tearing his ACL was a devastating feeling, but Riller took a positive outlook and quickly realized the year on the sidelines might wind up being to his advantage. He stated, It was a blessing in disguise. There had been a lot of questions about my weight at the time and whether I could play at this level. The year gave me an opportunity to work on my body. Once he got back on the floor, he made up for lost time. He ended up growing 2 inches and adding 20 pounds of muscle. Now standing at 6'3", 180 pounds, he would start in 29 games and average 13 points and make CAA All-Rookie Team. The next season, now weighing 195, Riller averaged almost 19 points while racking up 4 games of 30 points or more and helping lead College of Charleston to the NCAA Tournament for the first time in 19 years. In his junior season, he took over the point guard position for the Cougars. He led them in assists at 4 per game while increasing his scoring average to almost 22 points which was 20th in the nation. And in his senior year he was on the same type of level while getting more rebounds. Throughout his years he racked up many accolades like first team all CAA in 2018 through 2020. He was the first Charleston player to record a triple double and he has the second most points in school history while averaging 80% from the free throw line, 35% from the three, and 50% from the field throughout his four years. Now NBA scouts are wanting Riller on their team to be a three-level scorer. He has the experience, the ability to finish, and the shot creation to flourish in the NBA. But the concerns about Riller are his defense and his age. He will be 24 in February of 2021, but that is the concern most scouts have with all four-year players because they don't see much upside. But four-year players have a quicker transition into the NBA than the younger players do. Scouts have compared him to Fred Van Vliet. They both have similar offensive games, similar builds with Riller being a couple inches taller and the fact they both went to mid-major programs. But the difference between the two would be Van Vliet's defense. With his savvy and toughness, Van Vliet has made himself a solid on-ball defender and a great help defender, so we will have to see if Riller can grow into that once he gets used to the speed of the league. Based on his skills, Riller deserves first round looks, but he might slip into the second round because of his age. But when ranking four year guards like Peyton Pritchard, Cassius Winston, among others, personally I would put Riller a notch above them. If I'm the 76ers, I'm taking Riller at 21 and not thinking twice. They also have multiple second round picks where they can pick him as well. They need more playmakers at the point guard position who can knock down shots next to Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. I could also see him with the Toronto Raptors at 29 as a Van Vliet replacement if he leaves in free agency. His draft range is picks 20 through 40, with his most likely landing spots being the Philadelphia 76ers, the New York Knicks, and the Toronto Raptors. I just want to thank you guys for watching. If you got to the end, I really rock with you. If this is your first time on the channel, definitely hit that like and subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter 
and definitely let me know who you would like to see next. And I'm out. Peace.